Joe Pesci, the actor, became a household name for his remarkable performances in films that left a lasting impact on the industry. Born on February 9, 1943, in Newark, New Jersey, Pesci began his career as a child actor in the 1950s. However, it was his role as Joe Vitale in Raging Bull that catapulted him to fame in 1980. Pesci's talent for portraying tough guy characters with a touch of humor made him a favor among directors and audiences alike. His role as Tommy DeVito in Goodfellas earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in 1991. Pesci's ability to bring depth and complexity to his characters set him apart from his peers. In addition to his work in Goodfellas, Pesci's performance in My Cousin Vinny is also considered a classic. His portrayal of Vincent LaGuardia Gambini, a loudmouth and quick-witted lawyer, showcased his versatility and comedic timing. Pesci's contributions to the film industry have left an indelible mark. His ability to captivate audiences with his unique blend of humor and intensity has made him a beloved figure in American cinema. Despite his retirement from acting in 1999, Pesci's work continues to resonate with audiences today. Joe Pesci is a beloved actor known for his memorable roles in numerous films. Among his vast body of work, Goodfellas and Home Alone stand out as two of his most iconic performances. In Goodfellas, he delivered a chilling portrayal of mobster Tommy DeVito, earning himself an Academy Award. Meanwhile, in Home Alone, he played Harry Lyme, half of the infamous burglar duo, providing comedic relief in this family favorite. Now, let's dive into some fascinating tidbits about Joe Pesci. Many people might not know that before becoming an actor, Pesci was actually a struggling musician who even opened for bands like The Vagrants. Another fun fact, did you know that Pesci is great friends with another Hollywood legend, Robert De Niro? They have appeared together in eight movies. Perhaps what makes Joe Pesci truly special is how relatable he remains despite his fame. His humble beginnings, growing up in New Jersey as part of a working-class Italian-American family, contribute to his widespread appeal. We're sure each one of you has a unique story or fond memory connected to this classic star. Maybe it's when you first saw him on screen, heard about his music background, or were simply struck by his incredible talent. Whatever it may be, share it with us in the comments section below. We can't wait to read all about it. As we delve deeper into our discussion of Joe Pesci, Prepare yourself for more surprising revelations, heartwarming tales, and hilarious moments. From amusing anecdotes to poignant reflections, stay tuned as we explore the life and legacy of this unforgettable actor. So keep watching this video because there's much more to come. Born on February 9, 1943, in New Jersey, Joe Pesci grew up in a close-knit Italian family. His father, Angelo Pesci, worked as a bartender and forge worker, while his mother, Maria Meschi, was a part-time barber and full-time homemaker. From a young age, Pesci showed a keen interest in entertainment, often imitating famous singers and actors to entertain his friends and family. Pesci's first taste of fame came when he formed a comedy duo with Frank Vincent called Vincent and Pesci. They performed together in local nightclubs and gained a small following before deciding to pursue separate careers. However, it was Pesci's role in the low-budget crime film The Death Collector that caught the attention of director Martin Scorsese. Scorsese cast Pesci in his next project, Raging Bull, alongside Robert De Niro, who had also appeared in The Death Collector. This classic film earned Pesci his first Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. He would go on to receive two more nominations and one win for his work in Goodfellas and My Cousin Vinny, Throughout his career, Pesci has credited several individuals with influencing his path in acting. One of them is actor and comedian Don Rickles, known for his sharp wit and quick comebacks. Pesci admired Rickles' ability to command a room and make people laugh, which influenced his own comedic style. Another influence is actor James Dean, whose intense performances in films like Rebel, Without a Cause inspired Pesci to take risks and push boundaries as an actor. As for mentors, Pesci has frequently cited Robert De Niro as a significant figure in his career. Their collaborations in Raging Bull, Goodfellas, and other films helped Pesci own his craft and gain recognition in Hollywood. Additionally, working with directors like Scorsese and Barry Levinson allowed him to explore different aspects of his talent and solidify his status as a versatile performer. Joe Pesci is an actor known for his memorable roles in various films. He began his career on stage before moving to screen appearances. In 1976, he made his film debut in Deadly Hero. This was followed by supporting roles in several films, including Raging Bull, where he worked alongside Robert De Niro for the first time. 
A pivotal role came in 1990 when Pesci starred as Tommy DeVito in Martin Scorsese's iconic mafia movie Goodfellas, earning him critical acclaim and a Golden Globe Award. His portrayal of passionate and volatile characters has since become synonymous with his name. Pesci took home the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor after playing Harry Lyme, Leo's partner in crime, in another Scorsese film. My Cousin Vinny, despite being less intense than some of his previous works, it remains a fan favorite till today due to its comedic elements. Another notable performance includes Russell Bufalino in The Irishman, which marked his reunion with both Scorsese and De Niro. While many associate Pesci primarily with gangster flicks, this film highlights his range beyond these types of roles. If you're new to Joe Pesci's work, consider starting with either Goodfellas or My Cousin Vinny. Both offer different perspectives of his talent, but will undoubtedly leave you wanting to explore more of his extensive filmography. Growing up in Newark, New Jersey, Joe Pesci found solace in movies from a young age. At only five years old, he made his acting debut in a school production of The Palm Beach Story. This early experience sparked a passion for acting that would stay with him for the rest of his life. As a teenager, Pesci worked at a local movie theater, where he became even more fascinated by the art of film. He would often sneak into the projection booth to watch movies over and over again, studying the actor's movements and delivery. Pesci's big break came in 1976 when he was cast in the low-budget film The Death Collector alongside Frank Vincent. The film caught the attention of Robert De Niro, who was impressed by Pesci's raw talent and recommended him for a role in Martin Scorsese's Raging Bull. In Raging Bull, Pesci's portrayal of Joey LaMotta, the brother of real-life boxer Jake LaMotta, earned him critical acclaim and his first Academy Award nomination. Pesci's career took off from there, and he went on to star in numerous classic films, including Goodfellas, My Cousin Vinny, and Casino. Throughout his career, Pesci has brought to life some of the most memorable and iconic characters in film history. His ability to seamlessly transition between comedy and drama has made him a beloved figure in the industry, and his contributions to the world of cinema will be cherished for generations to come. Joe Pesci was initially considered for the role of Owen Lift in Throw Mama from the Train, which eventually went to Danny DeVito. However, the actor left his mark in other films, including Goodfellas and Casino. In Goodfellas, Pesci played the character of Tommy DeVito, alongside Frank Vincent as Billy Batts. Interestingly, both actors had previously worked together in Easy Money, where Pesci portrayed Nicky Cerrone, and Frank Vincent appeared as an uncredited mobster. Pesci's portrayal of a Mafia member in Casino was highly praised by Michael Franzi, a former Colombo family capo turned motivational speaker. Franzi commended Pesci's performance as the most realistic depiction of a Mafia member in both Casino and other mobster movies featuring the actor. Overall, Pesci's contributions to cinema have left an indelible mark, particularly in classic films such as Goodfellas and Casino. Born in New Jersey, Joe Pesci grew up in a working-class family, as a child, he was enthralled by the art of storytelling through film. However, his passion faced numerous obstacles. Financially, his family struggled, making it hard for him to pursue his dreams. Despite these difficulties, Pesci remained determined to make a name for himself in the entertainment industry. While still young, he worked odd jobs to support his career ambitions. He took on roles in small theater productions and made connections within the local arts community. Eventually, he caught a break when invited to join a comedy troupe called the Madison Square Gardeners. This opportunity allowed him to hone his comedic timing and acting skills further. Despite gaining some recognition, Pesci encountered skepticism from industry insiders who questioned his ability to handle more serious roles. Unfazed by the criticism, he continued honing his craft and seeking out diverse parts. His persistence paid off when he landed a role alongside Robert De Niro in Martin Scorsese's Raging Bull, a part that would change his life forever. Pesci's performance stunned both audiences and critics alike, earning him critical acclaim and solidifying his place as a respected actor. Since then, he has delivered iconic performances in several films like Goodfellas, Home Alone, and My Cousin Vinny, proving time and again that perseverance can help one conquer even seemingly insurmountable odds. In the film Goodfellas, Joe Pesci, playing the role of Tommy DeVito, starred alongside fellow Oscar winners Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci, as well as Oscar nominees Lorraine Bracco and Samuel L. Jackson. Moving on to the Lethal Weapon series, Pesci portrayed Leo Getz in the fourth installment. Notably, Danny Glover's character, 
Roger Murtaugh, and Pesci's Leo Getz were the only two actors to appear in all four films, having been absent in the initial 1987 release. In addition to his role in Lethal Weapon 4, Pesci also starred as Harry in Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. Interestingly, both Pesci and Catherine O'Hara appeared in Betsy's Wedding and the first Home Alone movie, creating a connection between these classic films. In 1979, Joe Pesci's career reached a turning point with his role in Raging Bull. Directed by Martin Scorsese, this classic film marked a significant milestone for the actor. Before this, Pesci had been trying to make a name for himself in various roles, but Raging Bull provided him with a breakthrough opportunity. Playing the role of Joey LaMotta, the brother of Robert De Niro's character, Jake LaMotta, Pesci delivered a powerful performance. His portrayal of a fiercely loyal sibling, prone to explosive outbursts, left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. Pesci's performance in Raging Bull caught the attention of critics, who praised his ability to hold his own against acting heavyweights like De Niro. The film's success led to Pesci becoming a sought-after actor in the industry. In 1980, Pesci showcased his versatility in Easy Money, playing a small-time crook with big-time dreams. His performance was well-received, and it further solidified his status as a talented actor. However, it was Pesci's role as Tommy DeVito in Scorsese's Goodfellas that truly catapulted him to stardom. His portrayal of a hot-headed gangster earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in 1991. Pesci's colleagues and collaborators have often spoken about his impact on the industry. De Niro once said, Joe has a unique ability to bring a character to life in a way that is both authentic and captivating. Scorsese, who directed Pesci in three films, said Joe's talent is undeniable. He has a rare ability to convey so much emotion and depth with just a look or a simple line. In recent years, Pesci has taken a step back from acting, but his impact on the industry remains significant. His breakthrough moments in Raging Bull and Goodfellas have left an indelible mark on cinema, and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences and industry professionals alike. In the movie Casino, directed by Martin Scorsese, Joe Pesci delivers a powerful performance as Nicky Santoro. Interestingly, despite being nominated for Best Supporting Actor in the other three films he made with Scorsese, Raging Bull, Goodfellas, and The Irishman, Pesci didn't receive a nod for Casino. Moving on to another role, Pesci played the character Vinny Gambini in My Cousin Vinny. Here, a miscommunication takes place between Gambini and Judge Haller over the term two youths. Surprisingly, this interaction stems from a genuine conversation between Pesci and director Jonathan Lynn. Due to Pesci's thick New York accent, some dialogue initially confused Lynn, but upon realizing its comedic potential, he incorporated it into the film. Following My Cousin Vinny, Pesci returned to the screen later the same year in Home Alone, Too Lost in New York. His portrayal of Vinny Gambini ends with him, leaving for New York, making for a smooth transition to his next project during that period. Joe Pesci is an actor known for his intense and energetic performances. His unique approach to acting involves fully immersing himself in a character, often drawing from his own personal experiences to bring authenticity to his roles. Pesci's working-class upbringing in New York City, for example, has informed many of his characters, giving them a gritty, street-smart quality. In his early career, Pesci worked primarily in comedy, often collaborating with fellow actor and friend Robert De Niro. However, it was his breakout role in Raging Bull that truly showcased his dramatic range and versatility. Pesci's portrayal of Joey LaMotta, the brother of real-life boxer Jake LaMotta, was both intense and nuanced earning him critical acclaim and a nomination for the Best Supporting Actor Oscar. Pesci's ability to seamlessly transition between comedy and drama has become a hallmark of his career. He has a natural talent for physical comedy often using his facial expressions and body language to convey humor. At the same time, he can turn on a dime and deliver a chilling, intense performance, making him a formidable actor in any genre. Despite his success, Pesci remains humble and grounded, attributing his success to hard work and a bit of luck. He has said that he simply enjoys the process of acting, of becoming someone else, and telling a story. This love for the craft is evident in every performance, making Joe Pesci a true icon of American cinema. In the cinematic world, the actor Joe Pesci has made a significant impact by bringing to life complex characters who have left a lasting impression on audiences. One notable example is his chilling portrayal of Tommy DeVito in Goodfellas, which earned him an Academy Award. 
Interestingly, he shares this distinction with only four other actors, including Charlie Theron and Forrest Whitaker, who also won Oscars for playing real-life killers. Moving forward, Pesci's magnetic performance as Nicky Santoro in Casino showcases his ability to captivate viewers alongside fellow Oscar recipients Robert De Niro and Sharon Stone, as well as nominee James Woods. Additionally, during the filming of My Cousin Vinny, Pesci had already secured his spot in Hollywood history by winning the Academy Award for Goodfellas. As a token of celebration, he even brought the prestigious accolade to the set to share his joy with the rest of the cast and crew. Undoubtedly, the actor's remarkable career continues to resonate within the annals of cinema, leaving behind an indelible mark for future generations to appreciate. Joe Pesci's impact on the acting industry is undeniable. With a career spanning over five decades, this actor has left his mark through memorable performances and influential techniques. His breakthrough role in Raging Bull set the stage for what would become a signature style, intense, gritty, and unforgettable portrayals that often revolved around working-class characters. Industry expert, critic Roger Ebert, described Pesci as an explosive actor who can generate more energy in a few seconds than some actors can sustain throughout an entire movie. This observation highlights one aspect of Pesci's influence, his ability to bring high intensity and emotion even into brief roles. His iconic character, Tommy DeVito and Martin Scorsese's Goodfellas, further solidified his status as a powerhouse performer. According to IndieWire, Pesci steals every scene he's in turning what could have been a cliché tough guy act into something truly menacing. But it isn't just about raw energy. Pesci also demonstrates exceptional range. From comedy hits like Home Alone, where he played a bumbling burglar, to dramatic turns in films like Casino, he consistently delivers compelling characters that resonate deeply with audiences. Director Martin Scorsese Z speaks highly of him saying, he doesn't need many takes he gets inside the skin of these characters and finds things that other actors might miss. Clearly, Pesci's approach to acting has had a profound effect on both his contemporaries and subsequent generations. Aspiring actors draw inspiration from his work. As up and coming actor Michael Zagarski shared, watching Joe Pesci taught me you don't always need big speeches to make a huge impact. Sometimes, less is more. Thus, whether through groundbreaking performances or inspiring new talent, Joe Pesci continues to shape the landscape of cinema. In the film My Cousin Vinny, Joe Pesci delivers a memorable performance as Vinny Gambini, a lawyer trying to save his cousin from a wrongful conviction. This classic earned Marisa Tomei an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, making it the third movie featuring Pesci to win an Oscar. The other two were Raging Bull where Robert De Niro won Best Actor, and Goodfellas, which earned Pesci the Best Supporting Actor award. Speaking of Raging Bull, Pesci's role as Joey, the brother of Robert De Niro's character, Jake LaMotta, stands out. To portray the older Jake, De Niro gained a record 60 pounds, while Pesci lost weight for the same scene. This drastic transformation highlighted their incredible acting skills. In Home Alone, Pesci showcases his versatility as Harry, one of the burglars targeted by a young boy's clever traps. Interestingly, Pesci and Catherine O'Hara, who played Kevin's mother in Home Alone, had previously worked together in Betsy's Wedding. This 1990 film also featured Molly Ringwald and Ally Sheedy, both frequently directed by John Hughes. Delving into these roles, one can't help but admire Pesci's ability to adapt to various characters and genres, making him a truly talented actor. His contributions to the world of film have left an indelible mark, with performances that continue to resonate with audiences. Whether as a lawyer, a boxer's brother, or a burglar, Pesci's portrayals remain etched in the annals of cinematic history. His work has transcended time, leaving a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain. So, step into the world of Joe Pesci's films and experience the magic of his storytelling firsthand. Joe Pesci is known for his brilliant acting career, but he also has a rich personal life filled with passions and values that extend beyond the silver screen. The actor, who was born on February 9, 1943, in New Jersey, developed a love for music early on, even releasing an album titled Little Joe, Shirk and Sing, in 1968. This musical background would later influence some of his most memorable roles, including his portrayal of Tommy DeVito and Martin Scorsese's Goodfellas. Pesci's appreciation for music extends to charity work as well. In 2007, he organized a fundraising event called All-Star Bowling Classic, which raised over 500,000 for the nonprofit organization Autism Speaks. 
His dedication to giving back doesn't stop there. Pesci has been involved with various charitable organizations throughout his career, quietly using his platform for good. The actor's interest in food can also be seen both personally and professionally. He owns restaurants in California and New York, offering guests a taste of Italian cuisine inspired by his heritage. Food plays a significant role in many films featuring Pesci, like My Cousin Vinny, where it serves as a source of comfort and bonding between family members. As for hobbies, golf holds a special place in Pesci's heart. He enjoys playing recreationally when not working, often connecting with fellow actors and industry professionals through friendly games. Golf courses have become another venue for networking and fostering relationships off-screen. Despite being a private person, Joe Pesci allows glimpses into his personal life through these interests and values, enhancing our understanding of the man behind iconic performances. Let's take a moment to appreciate the remarkable career of Joe Pesci. This actor has made a significant impact in the world of entertainment, with his versatile performances that have captivated audiences for decades. From his early roles in classic films like Raging Bull and Goodfellas, to his memorable turn in Home Alone, Pesci has shown his incredible range as a performer. His work has left a lasting legacy in the tapestry of American cinema. Whether he's playing a tough guy or a comedic foil, Pesci always brings his unique energy and charisma to the screen. His contributions to the entertainment industry have been cherished by generations of fans. So, let's hear your thoughts on the enduring legacy of this classic actor. What are your favorite Joe Pesci films or performances? Be sure to share your memories and opinions in the comments below. And don't forget to like and share this post with your friends so we can keep the conversation going. Let's celebrate the vibrant world of entertainment and the talented artists who make it so special. By stepping in to share your own thoughts and experiences, you can help keep this community thriving and dynamic. So let's get started. Picture this a world where we can all come together to celebrate the arts and the artists we love.